a local coalition of faith groups is calling for sanctions against Myanmar after sending three Calgary doctors to help in the Rohingya refugee camps in Bangladesh witnessing firsthand the horrible conditions, people are being persecuted in a way that is forcing them to flee their homeland, Shalo Sadchi, co-chair of the Calgary Interfaith Council, told CBC at a news conference on Friday. This is just based upon senseless intolerance and hatred, said Osachi, who is also the senior rabbi at Beth Zedek Congregation in southwest Calgary. Since August, 600,000 refugees have fled Myanmar to escape what the United Nations is calling ethnic cleansing. The Rohingya people, mainly Muslims, have been denied citizenship in Myanmar. They've ended up in makeshift camps in southern Bangladesh. Rabbi Shal Osachi says every voice matters in trying to end the violence against Rohingya refugees. Mario De Siccio Radio Canada It has really impacted tens of thousands of people by the war itself, but it's also dislocated an entire population, Osad she said. The concern is that this is just a veiled attempt to ethnically cleanse the country of this population, this minority. He says the Calgary Coalition is in the alarm because every voice helps. Every effort we can make, anywhere in the world, to help people live in peace and harmony is our goal. Every voice is important, and silence is the worst possible way we allow evil to persist. Three doctors from Calgary went to help in the refugee camps, which are overcrowded and without adequate access to clean water. Dr. Fozi LV and two other Calgary doctors recently returned from a medical relief mission in southern Bangladesh. Mario De Siccio Radio Canada Dr. Fozi LV was part of a medical relief mission to the region last month and says nothing could prepare her for what she saw. The conditions are horrible, I don't even have words to explain, she said. There are a lot of sick people. Different diseases, contagious diseases like tuberculosis, HIV, they are on the rise. There are no hospitals if someone needs surgery. There is no medication, there is no clean water or sanitation. Doctor and medicine shortages are making things much worse, Alvi said. Two other Calgary physicians associated with the Muslim Council of Calgary made the trip, Dr. Samina Bawa and Dr. Fiza Rafiq. Bawa says the demands were overwhelming. Dr. Samina Bawa says the medical demands were overwhelming. Mario De Siccio Radio Canada On an average day, you see 300 patients with tuberculosis and pneumonia and the injuries and the burns and the depression and the PTSD and the weakness and the asthma and the epigastric pain and ulcers, you name it, Bawa said. The Calgary Coalition is calling on the Canadian government to impose economic sanctions on Myanmar to bring an end to the violence. One voice is important in the broader scheme of things, Osadji said. Bottom line is these are human beings. A Rohingya child awaits medical attention at a refugee camp in southern Bangladesh. Submitted by Dr. Fozia Alvia's Canada's special envoy to Myanmar, Bob Ray visited refugee camps in southern Bangladesh near Cox's Bazaar. He says listening to the details of what people have been through is horrific. I think there is generally little doubt that there was an insurgent attack on August 25 that was quite well planned and quite systematic, Ray told the current Santa Maria Tremonte this week. And just as it had taken place in the previous October, what happens when there is an insurgent attack by this group called ARSA Iraq and Rohingya, Salvation Army, the Myanmar Army really overdoes it. You know the army just responds with, to put it mildly, a very, very heavy hand and a great deal of brutality. And that involves burning down the villages, clearing people out, with files from Radio Canada's Mario De Siccio and CBC's The Current.